Hi, in this video I will show how to debug a TFS plugin. In this video I will show how to local debug. So you need to install or the Visual Studio to be installed on the TFS application tier so you can local debug. And there is other video I will created that show how to remote debug for the, the TFS plugin using a Visual Studio a client that connected to the TFS. So okay, here this is a TFS machine of course and this is um, so I will just open my project which is my plugin and then let's open here is the pass for the plugin as we know I will put Let's create a folder called uh, my TFS plugin and I will take this folder and then just changing the building directory just point to this one. Okay, so it's better to open Okay, first I just need to open the team viewer so I can show what's happened Let's clear this one So if I click refresh to refresh this query, it refreshed very fast. Okay, so what will happen if I start building my plugin? Because it is, doesn't have a permission to write this and this is the reason that I won't show you. So I must run this application. Uh, which is the Visual Studio in administrative privilege so this so now my TFS plugin deploy it to the web service bin plugin directory so what will happen here if we go here we can see that the application being shut down because it the bin directory changed or renamed okay and if we go here and try to run our query again we can see that This will require some time at the beginning. Okay. So if I want to debug that code, then I just need to put a pick point inside the process here. And then I will start the bug attached to process. And then make sure that show process from all users and then we have these three process that for w3 wp exe so i can you know test any one of them or just attaching all of them and then just trying to make change Let's change this and also uh, 
and let's save as we can see this trigger the uh, debugging to debug so as we can see here let's see what the event args as we can see here as we mentioned before in the previous video that this is the core fields and we have four integer fields and three integers A 13 in string and of course this is the integer and also we have a text field which has only one which is the description because an HTML field and then I could start debugging the code 